Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about surface modification by ion implantation. Thermochemical methods for surface modifications has four types that is carburizing, nitriding, carbonitriding and ion implantation. In the last videos, we have studied about carburizing, nitriding and carbonitriding. In this video, let us understand about ion implantation. What is ion implantation? Ion implantation is a surface treatment process in which ions of nitrogen or carbon are accelerated and made to penetrate the surface of a component to impart wear resistance. The atoms of nitrogen or carbon are converted into an ion form by electron collisions in a plasma, focused into a stream using magnets and accelerated by a voltage gradient towards the substrate. Using this approach, a high energy ion beam which is about 50 to 200 kilo electron volt can be directed onto the component surface. Here we can see how the ion implantation here we can see how the ion implantation method takes place. How is ion implantation performed? Ion implantation is not a surface coating process. It is a technique which implants ions of nitrogen or carbon below the substrate surface and into the matrix of a substrate material. Implantation depths ranges from about 0.1 to 0.3 micrometer. It is analogous to diffusion process such as carburizing or nitriding but requires a much lower substrate temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius. Ion dosage varies from 1015 to 1018 ions per centimeter square dependent on ion species, component material and property requirements. It also has an advantage of being able to implant ions which would not normally diffuse or insoluble in the substrate material. Here we can see how the implantation process is taken place. It is after and before implantation. What are the advantages and disadvantages of ion implantation? Advantages No dimension changes, no delamination concerns, highly controllable and repeatable, form surface alloy independent of thermodynamic constraints. Disadvantages Limited thickness of treated material, high vacuum process, line of sight process, relatively expensive equipment and processing costs. From this video, you understood what is ion implantation, how ion implantation is performed, what are the advantages and disadvantages of ion implantation. These are the references for the information provided in the slides Then thank you for watching this video. And to get more details on the topics related to tribology, do follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.